folks. Welcome to Economic Observations. My name is Chris. Today is the 11th of August and thank you so much for watching. This video is sponsored by the Tanzania School Foundation, a nonprofit near and dear to my heart. To all of you who have made a donation in my latest plea in my last video, thank you so much. You helped raise over $700 for our problem in Tanzania. I am very, very grateful for your support. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Let's get started. But today we're going to talk about bubbles. What is a stock market bubble? How do they form? And how do they inevitably pop? We know that just like a soap bubble, all market bubbles will pop as well. History repeats itself. The first very large bubble to pop was the tulip bubble in Europe in the 17th century. Tulips became very fashionable and they quickly rose to prices well above the annual salary of the Dutchman. In 1637, the tulip market crashed. Just like we're in a bubble today, this market will inevitably crash. And which market am I talking about? I'm talking about all of them. The real estate market, the stock market, commodity market, as well as the crypto market. Let's get started. What exactly is a bubble? A bubble is when a stock or an asset is priced fundamentally higher than it is worth. And we know that many companies today are overburdened with debt and they do not have the asset values that investors are putting in them. So why are investors investing in them? It is herd mentality. They are following the crowd. Just like a gazelle who doesn't see a cheetah, they run because they follow the other gazelles. It's not the panic of having to sell something. It is the fear of missing out that creates bubbles forming to to epic proportions, we are in one of the biggest bubbles of all times. And when the Fed starts tapering and the interest rates start rising, we are going to see major problems in the stock market. In the housing market, when the forbearances end and the foreclosures begin, we are going to see a supply and demand problem in the real estate market. There is going to be a plethora of houses on the market with not enough demand. We have a lot of problems going on, but the fear of missing out and herd mentality is causing everything to rise. And I'll give you a little metaphor to help you understand what exactly is happening in the stock market. So picture a high school party. Someone invites a few friends over while their parents are out of town. Word quickly gets out and more people show up to the, peop to the house and the party gets bigger. An hour later, carloads of people start coming and the party is raging. It is out of control. The house is full. Everyone wants to be there. They're afraid they're going to miss something. Shortly before midnight, a bunch of people leave the party. It's getting out of control. They don't want to be there when the cops come and when it all gets busted. Some of them leave. Some of them stay till the end. Inevitably, the police come, the party is busted, and those who stay to the end are in trouble. Why do I give you that metaphor? Because it's very similar to what is happening in the crypto market and in the stock market. Right? People are staying in way too long. The media hypes it up right? That this great new stock or this IPO and everyone should buy it. And a few investors buy it in the beginning, the price goes up and the more momentum it gets, the more people invest in it because they all think they're going to make a lot of money on it. And what happens? Some people sell and take their profits while others remain in thinking that it's going to go even higher. And many times as history repeats itself, that's not going to happen. People know, need to know when to take the profits while the demand is still there. Because once the fear comes in and the panic comes in and there's no more buyers, the price starts to fall and people sell at a loss. 
So this is what is happening in the market. We don't know when it's going to crash, but just like a soap bubble, these bubbles are going to crash. Why do I talk about it today? Because the Dow was at an all-time high again. I mean, why is the Dow at an all-time high? CPI index came in at a half a percent for the month of July. We know that Southwest Airlines is fearing for their third quarter because people are canceling their trips. Airline ticket sales are down 20% from their peak in May and June. Things are reversing themselves a little bit. People fear the Delta variant. They watch the news and see what's happening in many parts of the country. Unemployment ends in three weeks. Seven and a half million people are going to lose their benefits. Over four million of them, gig workers and self-employed. People who haven't been able to go back to work yet because of pandemic-related industry problems. We are going to fall off a cliff pretty soon. The forbearance is going to end. The eviction moratoriums are eventually going to end. The student debt is going to have to be paid back. The unemployment rate is going to be astronomical with only crap jobs available. And the stock market is at an all-time high. It makes no sense. It's Reddit people. They call themselves apes. And sometimes it's like a, a, they laugh about it, that they have an ape mentality. And you know what they're meaning? It's like monkey see, monkey do. Remember that old phrase when you were a child? Monkey see, monkey do. Just like a gazelle. When they don't see the cheetah, but they run because everyone else is running. It is something that can really hurt people and people need to know when to leave the herd they need to learn to make decisions on their own and do what's best for them and not necessarily everybody in their forum this isn't going to end well the fundamental values of many of these companies doesn't exist we know that companies have debt like they've never had before and small businesses, forget about it. Many of them will not exist. Many of them have closed already. But monkey see, monkey do. That's what we are as humans. We have this primate nature. And it's going to get a lot of people in trouble. I hope it's not you. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you again real soon. Again, thank you so much. You mean so much to me. I appreciate you. Thanks for making it to the end. We'll talk again soon and have a wonderful evening.